Hello and welcome back to my video Q&A series about the pandas library in Python. So the question for today is how do I remove columns from a pandas data frame? Great question. Uh, so the pandas data frame is of course the primary unit of uh, data storage in the pandas library. It's like uh, rows and columns. So how do I remove a column? Uh, as always, we are going to pull up an example data set, and, uh, but first we need to import pandas as pd, and then uh, we're going to pull up the UFO data set, a data set of uh, UFO sightings or reported sightings, and so we'll use the read CSV function, and we'll pass it the URL of the data set, bit.ly slash UFO reports, okay? So this creates a pandas data frame. And uh, we'll just look at the head as a reminder of what is in this data frame. They're just UFO reports. It has uh, five columns. And in case you're curious, you can use the shape attribute and see that there are 18,241 rows. That's what this is telling us. Anyway. Uh, let's pretend that we don't care about the colors reported column. So we want to get rid of it. Okay, how do we do that? Well, let's, uh, we'll just use the drop method, which is a data frame method. So you say UFO dot drop. And then we're just going to pass it as a string, the name of the column we want to drop. So colors reported. Now, there are two more things I'm going to add here. The first is the axis. So I'm going to say axis equals one. And we'll talk more about axes in, a, in another video. But um, in brief, an axis is just kind of a direction. Okay. So axis zero is the row axis. Um, it kind of is a di like directionally like down is axis zero. I think of it as the row axis. Axis one is the column axis. It's the one that kind of moves across. And that movement will make more sense uh, when we talk um, more about it in a future video. But axis equals one is the way I say to pandas, I want to drop a column and its name is colors reported. Okay. One more thing. We're going to say in place equals true. What does that mean? Uh, it just means I want this operation to occur in place. Okay. So uh, we will run this and uh, we will just rerun the head method. And you will see that the colors reported column, aka series, is now missing, is now gone. Okay. So um, you can actually drop multiple columns at once. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that now. So let's say I wanted to get rid of city and state. I didn't care about those. Let's do ufo.drop. And what you do is very similar, except you just, instead of passing a string, you pass a list of strings. Okay. So I'll say city, uh, whoops, comma, state. So the first argument is that list. The second argument is axis equals one. Third argument in place equals true. We run that and ufo.head is now down to those two columns. Okay, they are gone. They are no longer part of the data frame. And that's really it. Okay. As always, I like to end these videos with a bonus tip. And the bonus tip is uh, what if you want to remove uh, rows instead of columns? Well, turns out you just use the drop method, except you use axis zero. Because as I said, axis one is the column axis, axis zero is the row axis. Okay, so, uh, so we're going to use ufo.drop. And we know there's going to be something here. And then we're going to say axis equals zero and in place equals true. But what is this first thing? Let's say I want to drop uh, rows, the first two rows, because I don't care about UFO reports before 
1931. So I don't care about these two rows. I don't want them in the data set. So how do I refer to them um, by name? I actually, the names are right here. The names are zero and one, okay? Just like these are the names of the columns, these are the names of the rows. They're uh, officially called the index, uh, also called the labels. And so I'm just gonna pass a list and I'll just say zero comma one. Run that, UFO.head, and you, you can see those two rows, the 1930s, have been dropped. And if you really want to be sure that they're gone, you can see that the shape, uh, the number of rows, has decreased by two rows. Okay? So, uh, one final note about this. Axis equals zero is actually the default. So technically, I did not have to specify axis equals zero here. Uh, however, I always like to specify the axis just to be really clear about what I am doing. Okay, so that's all for today. Thanks as always for joining me. Uh, please click subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. As always, leave a comment uh, telling me your uh, question about this video or your pandas question in general. I will uh, try to answer it. Maybe I'll even make a video. Okay, so that's it. Uh, thanks again, and I will see you again soon.